here watching this uh, where you have the little bit of red and no lightning, a lot of times you might just leave and we're not talking about anything severe, but we have seen certain setups where, where you get this low-level circulation that can come out of these cells and produce weak tornadoes. I was not expecting necessarily tornadic activity, but I did have sort of an idea, maybe I better stick around for a little while. Well, it sounds like that was a good plan to have because it, it kind of popped up on us. And that being the case, you know, I wouldn't rule out the possibility of something like this happening from any of the other ones, although looking further to the west-northwest, or those that are cutting into northern uh, Hamilton County, those don't look to be anywhere near as organized as the one that went through the Muncie area. No, uh, I was not finding anything really significant with that. But uh, you look at this and you don't see anything too significant, so you just never know. But nonetheless, Dave, thank you so much. Uh, we might check back in with you uh, here shortly, but, but uh, certainly thanks for all your help tonight. And we now have a tornado warning for Wayne County. So uh, this will ex be extended into Wayne County until 815 Hagerstown, Fountain City, Cambridge City, Centerville. And this does include Richmond. Tornado warning. Local law enforcement reported a tornado 15 miles southeast of Muncie. Uh, local Doppler 13 radar indicating this tornado producing storm was located near Franklin, moving southeast at 30 miles per hour. If you've been watching, we have been highlighting Franklin. Uh, this is in Wayne County. Franklin and Wayne County as a possible target for this uh, rotation. And uh, once again, local law enforcement reporting uh, this tornado 15 miles southeast of Muncie, uh, moving to the southeast now 30 to 35 miles per hour. And we talk about this cell uh, up, up around Kokomo. It doesn't look that scary on uh, the radar, but you never know. So Tipton, Windfall, Elwood, Frankton, Atlanta, Arcadia, we will certainly uh, be watching out for this to see if we get any low-level circulation but right now, no warning, just some heavy rain, and you might look up to the sky waiting for thunder and lightning. It's not going to happen right now. We're just not seeing any of that. But that doesn't mean, as we've seen, uh, these particular storms aren't bad. And uh, certainly there's going to be some sort of damage coming out of this. If you have a tornado that touches down, you're going to stir up some trees and, and uh, power lines and things like that. Economy, Williamsburg, Greens Fork, Hoover Mill in the next 5 to 15 minutes as uh, we track this storm into the Wayne County area, Richmond, you are in the path of this right along Interstate 70. Uh, this cell is moving, and it, it doesn't even look as strong. As you look at the rain pocket associated with this, it has gotten smaller and smaller. So uh, certainly one of those little guys that is defying the weather odds somewhat tonight as it holds together with some rotation uh, moving uh, just to the east of Newcastle is what we'd be looking at uh, with this particular uh, storm. Let me go to a different radar as we show you this uh, storm tracker the last couple hours working through Muncie, and you can kind of follow along uh, as it goes through Muncie, then uh, now heading into Wayne County, very fast mover. You can see the red boxes that showcase the tornado warning. I want to stop it and uh, just show you what was going on. This was in Muncie. And now, this looks so much better, and you can see almost a little bit of hook right through downtown, right in through there. That's when we had uh, law enforcement report a brief touchdown with the tornado. And there's, there's some broad rotation with that, no doubt about it. Certainly nothing like what we were, were looking at last night when we had anywhere from EF0 to EF3 tornadoes and winds that were over 135 miles per hour. We do not suspect anything like that. Muncie, you are in the clear. We take you down now towards Moreland, Economy, Hagerstown, and the, we don't have that true red-green area that you look for for the spin. So right now we're looking at mainly winds that are in one direction, and uh, that rotation could certainly be weakening right now. That's my uh, sus suspicion here as we talk about this storm moving down to the southeast is the fact that this rotation is getting weaker. We do not have that true signature. But uh, keep in mind what we were just looking at sometimes can uh, be uh, in between radar sweeps. You can have these radar sweeps that take a couple minutes to go around, and in between that, uh, just for a little bit, uh, the spin goes away. There's a new sweep coming around on live Doppler 13 radar as we show you this. As we continue with the coverage at 7.35 tonight, uh, tornado warning continues for Wayne County. This storm looking less impressive, which is good, but uh, still want to keep you abreast of the situation from Greens Fork to Williamsburg, Hoover Mill, and Webster as we track this uh, potentially dangerous situation in the Webster in the next 10 to 20 minutes, Wayne in the next 22 minutes, Hoover Mill there 14 minutes, and uh, Williamsburg in the next 11 minutes. I do think in the Williamsburg area 
you would be uh, more prone to uh, just some heavy rain as opposed to where we had that rotation that was earlier. Uh, so that's the latest. Right now, uh, I, I will tell you that this just does not look to be, at least at, uh, seven, at 7.36 tonight, does not look to be impressive. It's lost a lot of the signs of that rotation, of the wind circulating. We don't have any new reports of tornadoes on the ground. So we're going to take a quick break and uh, try to assess some things and make some phone calls and get the latest information. We'll be back in a few minutes, but uh, tornado warning continuing for Wayne County. Uh, that's the only area of concern that I'm looking at right now is Wayne County uh, for this possible tornado. We'll be back in a few minutes. And at the NBA 